Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Well, this defense for the Packers, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches always say, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. I haven't seen that number quantified, but I believe him. Hey, silver, silver, silver. Burt sets up to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Now Hurts changing up the play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Taken right around the 44. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. And they'll begin by running the option. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Second down at six now from the 42. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven as that one officially a loss of one. You look at this Eagle defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. And how about that last play? Did you see how quickly they got to the ball? Caused a loss of yardage? Yeah, that play shows exactly why their ranking is justified. And now they're just hoping to see more of that. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be incorrect. It's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Yeah. 
So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy in the 30. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A short throw to Musgrave. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now back to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. A nice throw right there. And, Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week. And he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Their mobile agile quarterback. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And that's going to be cut for the Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. 28 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. Elliott good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken back near the goal line. So that'll come out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid. The reason that they drafted him and go out and play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I mean, look at this Packers defense. They currently sit at number four in the NFL in terms of stopping the run. We know it's only week one, but the results look pretty good so far. The key is, can they do it week in and week out? Because right now, they're not awarding any championships or trophies after one week of performance. Got some nice young faces playing for them. Let's see if they can get this going. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 7-7, our score after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it facing a second and long situation. Now Hurts gonna shift him around a bit. Throwing on second and long, Hurts. Under pressure, they got him again. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. Kenny Clark, that's now back-to-back -back sacks, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. 
But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll look to throw here on first down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Isaiah Foskey brings him down. That's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener, adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Here we go on second and 12. To the sideline and incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force an incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Back to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college. His playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here we go. Second and seven. Hey, check that, check that. Dobbs goes in motion. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 39. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Hands it off out of the gun. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there. And it helps him move the sticks. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Dobbs goes in motion. Second and three. Escaping the pressure right. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Here comes third and about a foot. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Oh, it's intercepted! A drive killer there! Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Eagles will take over here at their own 12-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Here's second and ten. Smith will come in motion right. Second down, here's Hurts. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Now Hurts looking to change the play. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Fielded just inside the 30. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now they'll want a little something else. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll try and run for it. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dance up for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And that's going to be incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Now a second and ten. Back to throw here. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark. 
and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Now a first and 10 at the 11. He'll drop to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll set up to throw. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Isaiah Foskey. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And his kick is indeed good, and that will knot us up at 10. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it, and that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. So still a little bit of time following the made field goal, but we are tied as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spend it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. He'll look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The windup is in 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. This is taken at the 15. A great return there. Bobbin and Reeman his way for 31 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. On second down, here's Barkley. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Here's Hurts to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They'll look to throw now on first down. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And some room to work. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 23, here's second and nine. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. A nice play design there with a touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was right. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the third down. Going for the sack by Big Jalen Carter. And 
this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time. But any team will take that type of run each and every time. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And the Packers are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll run here on third and goal. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. And no movement for the field goal unit to break this tie. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and goal. Here we go. An audible here to get a new look. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. It's their quarterback with his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. But first down, Hurts. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. This offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. They trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. 
Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. And Hurt's going to move him around. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And quickly out wide, this is Watson. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This time they face a third and two. They'll drop to throw. Good throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. No pressure on Judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Now they'll change things up. Throwing his hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. down after a very nice game. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. 
So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. He lost nine there. That's really going to set him back for second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. And this is taken in at the five. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down, goal to go. Now Hurts changing up the play. They'll look to throw, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. For the lead, here's third and goal. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Back to throw. Catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. This is first and 10. Back to throw. side here going to be incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. He's back to throw. He needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here now, second and goal. take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And the field goal ties it, but you're down here knocking on the door. What are you doing? Did you hear the way you just said that? Kind of. Yeah. You're with hesitance? Yes, yeah, so that means you don't want to kick the field goal, and I don't think they do either. They need to go ahead and get these points now and get an advantage and not tie it up. It'll feel like a big disappointment if they just kick the field goal right here. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. They go play action here on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This pass rush, they've been excellent all game long, and another example of it right there in the closing moment. Not only with the pass rush, but how well they're coached, because if you don't quite get there, get to the quarterback, get your hands up into the passing lane and knock it away as we just saw there. Second down, here's Hurts. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is incomplete. 
Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Oh, man, late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. today it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is, remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive. And this is what they've been planning for. It's time to execute and take it downfield, even against all these odds. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poirier. Moving inside the 20. So not only the interception, but now they've got it first and goal after the pick. And, I mean, heck, Charles, they could go ahead and trot out the kicking team here and win it. They absolutely could. But what I would do is hand it off inside a couple of times and make sure my running back has both hands over the football, body covering it, and I kick it on third down. That way, if something goes awry with the snap, we still have fourth down to try to get it and win the ball game. Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, 